Hey everybody, how's it going? Just getting ready to head out here. It's the second day of the season for me. I got out once in January and did some tree trimming and some other stuff. And then we've had some really cold weather and then snow last week, as you guys saw in that last video where I was blowing off the driveway. But today I've got some pressure washing to do and maybe a little bit of trimming in flower beds if they're dry enough. One of my customers called me and during all the snow, they had a bunch of birds decide that their porch was a good place to live during in that. And they ate all the berries off the Nandinas and some other stuff and then crept all over the porch and made just an absolute mess she said so we're gonna go over there and see what that looks like and get that done one of her neighbors also called me and i'm gonna be taking care of theirs too as we're here at this first yard what i'm gonna be doing is back here behind the fence in this little alleyway all this monkey grass you can see all down along the fence right here i'm just gonna be cutting it down with the weed eater knocking it off every spring you just take the top off that stuff's almost impossible to kill but just knock the tops off clean it all up and then it'll grow right back out of the existing stumps got the power washer set up here what I'm going to be doing is spraying off as you can see this porch that's all a ton of bird poop they got up pooped all over the windowsill all over the foot concrete and then right here really bad and the customer called just wanted me to come over and clean this off they just don't like the way it looks and plus sitting out they went all got it all over their chairs and stuff so I'm going to be spraying off the chairs I've got my pressure washer set up here. I use the Still RB800. Um, it's their biggest pressure washer they make. It's, I think, 4200 PSI at four gallons a minute. And what they recommend is five gallons a minute flow rate. So I'm gonna show you how I check out, make sure each house is capable of um, giving me the flow rate I need. Your pressure washer, you need to have the amount of water that it requires coming in from the supply line in order to keep from cavitating the pump. What I do is I've got a five gallon bucket here. In order to figure out the flow rate here, I took the bucket, filled it up, it took 40 seconds. So I'm gonna take 40, divide that by 60 to get it into minutes, which is two thirds. Then I'm gonna take the five gallons that I know is in the container, divide that by two thirds, which is seven and a half. So I know that I'm getting seven and a half minutes or seven and a half gallons per minute from the house, which means that I'm more than good. I run mine at, if I can get four gallons a minute from a place, I'll run it. I just go ahead and run my pressure washer at a little bit at half speed on the motor. And then I can also adjust the pressure on my pump and I turn that down just a little to keep from cavitating that pump. really good it looks really clean and nice 
it got it all off that finished concrete's really smooth and then over here where it's porous it stained it so i don't really know what i'm gonna do i might try having them spray some bleach or something like that on it and see if we can't get it cleaned up but other than that i pressure washed it i used the turbo nozzle started with the flat nozzle it worked great for the porch and then i used the turbo nozzle and that wasn't working so i got the surface cleaner out as you saw and it got all the dirt and stuff off but it just didn't clean the stains off so cleaned all the poop off but i'm gonna move over to the next house i'm doing up the street and get started there it's now the next day i'm back here at this house the second place i was at i got all the bird poop on the porch cleaned up as you can see it looks really good that was just covered in poop all down through there so it looks really good now and then i came out here they decided to go ahead and have me do the whole driveway and sidewalks so i got the sidewalk done and then i got started on the driveway i got down to there done and then i got over here and you can see it really cleaned it up a lot and i'll go over here and show you what the rest looks like down here at this end there's the difference you can see that this doing this power washing really cleans these driveways up especially in these old neighborhoods where they've got the really tall trees right there and all around and then the birds just make a mess so it had never been done since the house was built the house is like almost 30 years old i think so it's needed to be done for a while so i'm just gonna be finishing up that and then getting right down this main driveway
turned out really good as you saw. I always love power washing. It's just so satisfying to see something go from so dirty to so clean. It earns a really good um, income too. So it's pretty easy to make the same if not more money as you can when you're mowing. And it really doesn't take that much input compared to the other stuff. So it's something good. If you're wanting to expand, I'd recommend doing it. It's awesome and I've really enjoyed it. And it's been a good extra piece when I can't mow to have something else to do. Plus I wanted the power washer to use for my equipment and it's paid for itself plus made money. So that's always a good thing. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.